takes skill, luck, character. It's taking over the world. Poker is the new beautiful game, and everyone everywhere wants the chips in a chair. Hi, I'm Jesse May, and over the next 16 weeks, we'll be bringing you some top poker action and also filling you in on how the game is played with the help of some very special guests. Alongside me this week, former world snooker champion and avid poker player Steve Davis. Now, Steve, what do you like about poker? Well, I think we all like card games, but for me, poker's about decision-making, and it's fascinating, especially on television, watching people live and die by their own decisions. Well, you know how to play Texas Hold'em very well, Steve, but let's just deal out a practice hand to see how things go. Now, Texas Hold'em begins with the dealing of the whole cards. Each player gets two cards face down from the dealer. And uh, when the blinds are up, those are forced bets to get the action going. Uh, the, the, the first round of betting will begin. That's right. And once everybody's matched that betting, we get come to the second phase of the game. So let's say a few people have put some bets in, then all of a sudden we go to the second phase. Right. Now your actions are to call, raise, or fold when there's action. And we're going to assume that uh, four players have folded, two players have called, the pot's right. So now comes what we call the flop. And these are three community cards, Steve, that you can use along with your whole cards to make the best poker hand. That's right. You now look at your two cards. You have five cards. You've made a poker hand. You now have a decision to make whether you want to continue playing and betting or fold. But in this situation, you perhaps put a bit better bet in. Right. So you could check or bet. You've chosen to bet here. And uh, we're going to say, I will choose to call, which means the bet is complete. We'll see the next card or the turn card. And now we have another round of betting. You now have six cards to make a five card poker hand. The, the, the thing's changed, everything's in a different situation. You can now decide once again to ask questions for your opponent. You may put another bet in. So bet and call. I could raise or I could fold, but I'd like to see the last card or the river card. And now we've got all seven cards that'll play in this hand. That's right. You make a five card hand from the seven using either one, two, or none of your cards. And all of a sudden, once again, you can ask the question of your opponent, make a decision. I'm putting some more money in. Well, we play no limit here. It looks like you've put me all in for my chips. And now that the betting is done, we have a showdown to see who's won. The best five card poker hand uh, takes the money and... Uh, <coughs> Never let the American deal. That's how you play Texas Hold'em. First up at this Party Poker European Open is the celebrity qualifying heat. Let's see who's playing and what seat they play. Celebrity Heat up first, and we're here with two of the players, Lilani and Ronnie O'Sullivan. Now, Lilani, how are you feeling? You've played a little poker. I know, I'm a little bit nervous. I've heard the snooker players are very good, actually, so uh, a bit nervous about that. And uh, I haven't played that much sort of proper tournaments, just online, so I'm hoping to do a bit better than before. Special tactics today? I don't want to say it in front of him, but I'm going to play it now. I'm going to play really tight, and only going to play really amazing hands, so don't, don't raise me, okay, if I, if I call. Ronnie, you've already had a bit of success on the poker table. Mm. Uh, is, it, is it more luck involved in poker than snooker? Um, I, I, suppose, I suppose there is in, in a certain way, because you don't know what cards are going to turn over. But for me, I think it was the, the more I got involved in the game, the more I started to, to read a little bit and feel, yeah, you know, I'm in quite a strong position here, and then I'd bet, and, and I got quite a bit of success on that. And last time I played, I got a bit impatient, and that cost me. And today I'm going to definitely not be impatient and just try and stand there as long as I can and, and like cards and snooker balls are funny things if you don't respect them they'll turn around and kick you in the butt so <laughs> you know, it's a game that needs to be respected in a way. Now Steve you know there's a lot of snooker players turning to poker how is Ronnie going to stack up uh, among the rest of them? <clears throat> Well, I think Ronnie's used to making big decisions on, on the big stage, and I'm sure he won't have a problem. It's just whether you run into sort of Lalani with a pair of aces. I mean, what can you do? There's no way out. Well, we've got a great heat for you tonight. 
Famous faces, celebrities, sportsmen, all melting it out on the green felt. Only one seat open in the main draw, so join us after the break. Welcome back. We're off to the table now of this PartyPoker.net European Open, the Celebrity Heat. Myself and Steve Davis will be guiding you through. Shuffle up and deal. So, Steve, we're in for a great night of poker here. <coughs> and uh, cards <coughs> coming out. Action will be on Leilani. 2,000 to call. More if she likes it. And with the ace-eight. Raise. Looks like there's aggression. Sorry. Raise four. Raise four thousand more, six total. Quite a Pass. professional raise there. Two has become six. And uh, this is Fiona's Call. first time into the pot. Well, Fiona flat calling with Pass. the ace queen. She's in a very good position. Pass. Pass. Should an ace come out on the flop, there could be some danger. She certainly is. We are head up now, Lilani and Fiona. Flop to come. There is 15 grand in the center. And the action will be on Leilani, and you have to figure, Steve, if the ace does come, it's uh, going to be very tough for Leilani to get away from it. That's quite a nice flop for Leilani in some respects. She can make a, a go at the pot and Six. could work to Six her favour. Fires 6,000. <laughs> Look at this. A raise from Fiona, it looks like. Raise to 12. Raise to 12, you said that. Six thousand more, twelve total. Now, Lilani. Six to call. It's a minimum raise, and uh, well, Lilani, she can't expect she's ahead here, can she, Steve? But uh, cool. call. Cool. She has called. This pot is getting up there, thirty-three thousand. And does Fiona know where she's at? <laughs> Fiona's leading, but she may think she's bluffing here. Oh, oh my Gideon! Third seven <laughs> on the turn, and the queen plays. Ace queen high is leading. Ace eight. Check. 12,000. <laughs> what do you think of that bet? <laughs> well, it's... I think it's pretty decent poker. All, <laughs> it's pretty great. decent poker all round there, I think. Uh, Lani has given up the pot to Fiona Foster, and uh, it was. Fiona reckoned she had the best hand. She bet it, and uh, she's picked up 20,000 because of it. Let's check out the ranking of the each five-card poker hand falls into the official ranking of poker hands. Bottom of the ladder is high card only. A pair just above that, and two pair is higher still. Three of a kind is three of a number, a straight. Five cards in a row of any suit. A flush is five cards of the same suit in any order. Full house, three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind is self-explanatory, and a straight flush is five cards all in a row of the same suit. Royal flush is top of the pops. That's a straight flush, ace high. Looking at the chip values, those yellow chips are worth a thousand each. The blues, two thousand apiece, and the reds are five thousand each. Okay, one and two guys. Putting a total of six hundred thousand on this table. And uh, Fiona Foster, your runaway chip leader at this early stage. Regis is in the big blind. Cool. But it is Fiona Foster, King Ten under the gun, calling for two. Raise to 14,000 total. And this is the Pass. third raise Pass. Mark Williams Pass. has put in before the Pass. flop and is the Pass. first five Pass. hands. He's very aggressive. Pass. Yes, and it was a little bit of a weak bet from Fiona in the first place. Uh, and she's now got herself in a, a little bit of a spot, even though they were suited, the King Ten. They don't look so good against cool. the Ace Jack, but the flop could change all of this. Yeah, she's called 12,000, and this pot getting up there. Fiona looking to match a card, and uh, I wonder if Mark's a little bit worried. Looks like he wanted to take that pot before the flop. <laughs> well, that's, that's something for everybody, and there's going to be some action and some danger here. <laughs> it just, re just remains how well Mark Williams can get out of trouble. Look at the spot he's in. <laughs> he's in desperate situation here. 20,000. Bang the chips down on the table. It may be a bit of a strong bet for... Mark, can he get away with that? <laughs> <laughs> Three tens for Fiona Foster, and Williams has the top 
pair with the top kicker. Do you, do you know something, that, Jesse? A, a, a poker player of a little bit, perhaps more experience than, than than this would have checked. But having, but Mark may know that that would happen to be a check. So she must, he must think he's got a chance here. <laughs> you couldn't blame Mark for sticking all his chips in, could you? No, it could be in terrible situation here. But one thing Mark Williams has got on the snooker table is a survival instinct. He doesn't have to put any more chips in. He's still very much in the game. Does he have to get involved? I mean, the, the more Mark thinks about it, the more it looks like he's thinking about folding, which is, oh, it, it's a world-class laydown if he can make it. And I mean, this is only the first time he's seen Fiona Foster. <laughs> I think he's asking he's asking he Matt Marty, the tournament director, oh, yeah, to put the sorry. clock on him. <laughs> he's called the clock on himself. So it's amazing how you can come in with a game plan and then, then you get put to a very tough decision the very first hand. Well he's doing the sensible thing. He's he's taking plenty of time. He certainly hasn't rushed into a decision of, of excitement of putting mon money in with that top pair. All in. No, he he's has gone all in. in. He took that long and then made the wrong decision. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but hold on a minute. Surely you can't fold. Fiona Foster has... Surely you can't fold. Oh, she's Fif gotten what she wanted. She 15 years of experience. At some stage of playing poker for 15 years. All she has to do is, is call. This could be one of the biggest upsets of this tournament in this early stage. I mean, well, there, there's not very many hands that beat her out there. Is she considering? How can she throw these away? <laughs> <laughs> I think the um, end result will be cool. Right, so would I be all in as well? I'll tell you, pretty much, yeah, you'd have to cover it. <laughs> it's going to be, this pot will be at over 200,000. Can we just yeah, she's got more than you. Yeah. Fiona Foster would have we about, have I think, <laughs> 10 or 11,000. <000. laughs> That's important. But Mark Williams will be drawing um, dead to oh. two jacks in the deck, oh, and she's Mark. called, oh, and Mark is not going to be happy. In. He must be in front, 95. It was um, a very big decision to go all in. I don't think there was ever any doubt, really, about oh. calling the bet. I mean, at the end of the day, Steve, it looks like Fiona, you don't know if that was a, if she made that move to try and show weakness or show strength, but Mark. <laughs> he got the hook in the top lip yeah. there and was being reeled in very nicely. Fiona Foster is in a very strong position. Here's the turn. That has changed nothing. Mark Williams. One jack, or he is out of this tournament. Here's Quiet. the river. And that queen has made Fiona Foster a straight. It was superfluous. Three ten. And Steve, it just goes to show you how nothing's sure in poker. Well, the commentary kiss of death from me there as Mark Williams walks out the door, possibly considered himself the favorite for today. Goodbye. That last hand one more time. The pot big before the flop, and then three tens for Fiona Foster. The money went in. Mark Williams' top two pair didn't improve, and the hot tournament favorite first out by a streak. Well, that's a marvelous hand for Ronnie O'Sullivan, and simply got a raise here. Raise, 2,000 more. Just a little raise, a little Pass. tempter, and this time John Pass. turns them down. He's just creeping in with the queens. Oh, here's a showdown. This is the moment where Ronnie O'Sullivan could double up raise. or go out of the door. Yeah, this could be bash and boom, couldn't it? Raise, <laughs> all in from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Call, and then down to the, f raise, down to the five cards more. in the 14 middle. Total. Fiona has announced a re-raise, and look well, at this. Oh. That should be thrown away in this situation, but will he know that? Well, it's a raise and a re-raise. It can't be, be good. It's 12,000 on Ravi oh, Paul. Oh, and he actually has the worst hand you can have in this situation. <laughs> you can only think of hearts. It's obviously not very good for Ronnie O'Sullivan. One of his queens has gone. 
Ronnie won't know that, obviously. Cool. Cool. And if you pause it. He's cool. Oh, that's, a, well, that's, a great, that's a great strong play by Ronnie, isn't it? I mean, he, he must reckon he's best. And uh, the question is, is Fiona going to call? Well, she doesn't have to. Especially after the pool calling, she may decide to go out the door. But Ace King's pretty attractive <laughs> hand. This is a fascinating, cl this is a classic piece of poker, really, isn't it? Between three relative novices of the game, it would be interesting watching top pros play this. Well, Ronnie O'Sullivan has re-raised this pot about, I think it's about 80,000. And uh, that will take a big chunk out of Fiona's stack if she chooses to call. The question for Fiona is, what have the other two got? How good is my ace-king now? How does it look? Are some of my cards taken already? I'm up against another ace-king. What would you be doing in her spot, do you think? <sighs> Raise. Think, but, you know, I think I, I, I mean, it's very easy when you're sitting. I think I just get out of it and, and, and sort of say, well, look, there's, there's two people in. You don't have to put any more money in, and you've still got loads. You're still well ahead. Does she have to consider that she could be up against two aces or two kings here? She's got to, I mean, in a way, she must think there must be a pair out there. Oh, oh go cold. on then, she <laughs> says. And Ravi Paul, well, if he didn't take the hit like before, Steve, he's going he's gonna <laughs> to take the hit now. <laughs> he says you put a bet in, you get jacked up on both sides. But we've got a pot here. Ronnie O'Sullivan, the rocket, all in oh, against Fiona yes. Foster. And it's nearly a 50-50 spot. Although one of Ronnie's queens, one of Fiona's aces, down the chute. And uh, if Ronnie O'Sullivan can double up here, he's going to go going to go favorite. If he gets, uh, oh, oh my oh, gosh, three he gets Ronnie. this through. Well, there's a jack out in the pack that all of a sudden now does help Ooh, Fiona. She's been hitting cards all night long, praying for a jack not to come. Is Ronnie O'Sullivan? <laughs> <laughs> three ladies on the flop for the rocket. Ronnie would love to see a 10 or a 4. Oh, he that sure would would. close it all out. That has changed nothing. Four jacks are Fiona's four outs. She'll still be in, but she'll be wounded. River card coming. And the case lady has held up. That's a big pot for Ronnie. Looking at the leaderboard, there have been fireworks so far. Ronnie and Fiona on top. And uh, the other three not far from where they started. John Regis being just calling. Nothing too exceptional from him. Hasn't hit any cards and has done 24,000 chips in cold blood. Ronnie O'Sullivan, the big blind, and all over the table, eyes-wise. Well, oh, this is John Ridge's type of hand. This is a raising, <laughs> calling hand. This is a calling. You're not going to get him out of this flop with a shotgun, are you? He's been very unfortunate, I think, really, in many ways, that he's, he's been given suited cards so often as if it's a curse, really, on him. And now there's an interesting moment. How many big pairs have we seen this early in the game? This time it's Robbie Paul with the big pair of aces. How big's the raise going to be? Eight more. Eight more. Yeah. Total of 12,000. And uh, well, he's got eight nothing eight really eight worth eight jumping eight up and down in the air for at all. But he's having to think about it. Can't really be putting money into this. I mean, I suppose he's got a bit to play with and could come to his favour, but really he should be throwing these away. You're not a fan of the suited cards, the connectors. They call them ace crackers, but uh, when the when the pot gets big, you, you'd rather have the aces, wouldn't you? <laughs> I, think, I, think I'd, I don't think John's going to get away from these. Cool. Oh, it's a three-way pot, and uh, Robbie Paul's happy as a lark here. Pocket aces, 36,000 in there. Here's the flop. There are a couple of worrying possibilities out there. Well, that's a marvelous flop for Robbie. Whether he knows it or not, he can't really be sure. But he's got to test the water with a bet. Ronnie O'Sullivan has flopped two pair here. It'll be interesting to see if he can get out of it. 
this pot without putting any more money in. Nice size bet. You'll know full well if there's another queen out there with that one. Ronnie doesn't really want to be putting any more money in, but that's the problem with calling with those two pieces of garbage oh, in the first cow. place. And that is, that? Well, that could be the bet that throws him off it. Oh, and he's got him. Has Ronnie he got him? had a look at <laughs> Robbie Paul's stack, said he could well afford oh boy, so to queen, put the pressure queen. on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he doesn't like this. Is marvellous. How much time do we have? Ninety seconds, eh? <clears throat> well, this is the beauty of poker, isn't it? Putting someone to the test, and uh, oh, my mind. Oh, I hope he's thrown him away. He is. He's oh, thrown he him the, away. He has bluffed. Oh, oh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, what a great! I mean, Steve, did he know what he was doing? Well, whether he did or whether he didn't is another matter. He's represented the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Paul gave Ronnie O'Sullivan the rope and Ronnie hung him from a high tree. I'm Robbie Paul, I'm a part-time poet and artist and full-time rugby league player. My game plan for this evening is to um, sweet talk the ladies so they don't pick on me. So to all you poker players out there, don't take the funk on a nasty dunk, there's a new boy in town. Celebrities playing very well on this PartyPoker.com European Open table. Action to spare and plenty more laughs and cards. Welcome back here. Poker action from the PartyPoker.net European Open. Jesse, May, and Steve <laughs> Davis from up above. <laughs> He's down to half his chip stack, is Robbie Paul, and uh, the blinds have gone up from the start, so effectively he's got a, a quarter of his chip stack left uh, from the starting position he found himself in. Yeah, do you think, do you think he's going to start panicking, and uh, is it time for Robbie Paul to start Paul. moving, is the question. Oh. Fiona Foster, 4,000 under the gun. Well, roughly they say something along the lines of if you've got what, oh. six, seven, eight times the big blind, you should be starting about looking at going all in. So he's not at that stage yet, but. We're four way this flop. We've had three way, excuse me, we've had quite a few three way pots. Everyone in except for Leilani and Robbie Paul. And here well, the is the three. Well, the bunch of interesting hands out there. Check. Check. Fiona. Simply coming out betting. <laughs> We've noticed that, that that's the case for Fiona. No point in messing about there, and, and that should be the end of this pot. So Fiona Foster did what she has to do. She lost that big pot to Ronnie O'Sullivan, but chip-wise, she's still in a fine fettle, up on about 160 something thousand, which uh, is well above average. Par right now would be about 120 thousand. Yes, John Regis uh, slowly dribbling away. Unfortunately, he hasn't really seen a lot of good cards. He's tried to get some action, nothing's happened. Robbie Paul has turned down some big events <laughs> and paid the price. <laughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan there, the, the best back frequency, Jesse. Yeah, he's, he's playing a lot of hands, isn't he? But uh, there are a lot of unraised pots here, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, but we asked for some teas last time. <laughs> 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 Still waiting for them. You just get them sort of started. Ronnie O'Sullivan ordering a round of teas. That's from the old <laughs> snooker hall days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the fridge. Mm. Oh, look nope. at that. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie slowed down somewhat. You can't really afford to, to make too many moves now. Ronnie O'Sullivan with the gay waiter. Green with a tray. And uh, it's oh, Lalani on the button here. Just calling. Should really Sorry. raise on the button. Should really have raised on the button with yeah. an ace. She's given a John, well, she's given John Regis a chance to, to get, get in, in very yeah. cheaply, hasn't she? Once again, John's got <laughs> suited, although dominated by Fiona's. <laughs> Three hearts come out now. <laughs> Goodbye, woman, John. I think you come across on TV You're so nice. I mean, Steve, you talk about the advantage of raising before the flop. If uh, if Lalani had raised on the button, 
She probably gets Fiona to fold the A7. As it is, Fiona has raised from the big blind, and Lalani looks every bit like she's going to get off this Ace-8, which is the better hand. Uh, will she get rid of John Regis? He does like two suited cut. He does like them. I'm going to guess no. Go on, go on. You're landing three, three arts, and let's have a look at your face. <laughs> Thinking you've got a good hand. It's not too bad. That, well, he's okay. He could have, he could have put the bet in, I suppose, and uh, hoped to hit a queen or a nine. And Fiona showing strength here, and quite rightly, I think the way things have gone today, second chip position is about Just right. Keep taking your money off me. Yeah, Fiona Foster making quite a clever bet there. I mean, winning that pot without having to see the flop and with the worst hand. Uh, you know, it just shows the power of raw aggression, doesn't it? But it's interesting, isn't it? As you say, if Lalani had have raised, it would obviously have meant some type of strength, that the ace the ace seven's no good. But uh, but obviously, she doesn't think there's another ace out there, Fiona, because nobody's raised. My ace seven must be miles ahead. Lalani. To me, yeah? So 4,000 is the big blind. And uh, Lalani is this tournament passing her by. Another call. Just calling, not enough aggression really. Oh, he <laughs> keeps on getting them. It's quite a nice hand. Could be a raising hand. Person before you has not shown any strength. Um. He's going to raise. And he's giving away, he's got a great nice. hand. You know, both the times I've seen, well, we've seen John Regis play on, on television before, it was very similar. He, he let himself dribble down to about half his chips and then he started getting aggressive. That's what's happening now. Oh, and Robbie uh, can't do a thing. No. The raise here is a total of 8,000, I think. And uh, Lalani calling with the best hand, what the flop will tell. Well, she threw away a, a hand like that after being raised, but not from John Regis. Well, that's nothing for nobody. Check. Four diamonds, though. <laughs> Just trying to count them up. Scanning the diamonds. <laughs> He's gonna love this. Got to bet. Just got to bet. Check. Check. Don't bet then. <laughs> no point in betting. What's the point? You might win chips. Ace of diamonds would be the key card. But uh, yeah, you're right. Check. I mean, uh, Ace High leading right now. You and can't. You can't check this down and let Ace High win this. I mean, there's twenty-two thousand out there. Well, he should have he should have won the chips. I feel here, and he's he certainly lost them now. Six thousand. I mean, that twenty-two thousand, Steve, would have looked really nice in John Regis's stack. Uh, it would have been up near par as it is. He's given the pot away, and uh, that's just one. That's just an example of how things can go. You know how you can do the the. the well, it's a lesson that really, if, if, uh, if when, when it gets to uh, the television stage of this tournament and shown, and if John watches it, uh, it, whether you learn from that is whether you become a good poker player from your mistakes. It's not about being honest in poker. <laughs> it's about wanting every chip, isn't it? The trouble is, it's so much easier sitting at home, sitting here, watching, criticising from position of seeing all the cards when you're actually I've, I've actually sat there at that table and sometimes your head goes blank it is a really bizarre feeling especially as you know other people can see your cards yeah, when, and, and when things start going against you, you you just assume that the other players got the nuts every time don't you well pair of sevens perhaps worth raising she hasn't really shown too much aggression other than with the aces she's having a little think up now she might be cool. Cool. no Lalani seems to be getting a whole rash of starting hands, and uh, of course the interesting thing here is that she's leaving the door open for a raise. So. Fiona in with the suited ace on the button, and uh, Rani with the option from the big blind. The problem with Lalani's bet call there was that though she threw away a pair of nines earlier in this match. Uh, after being raised after calling, she'd have obviously done the same thing had Fiona have raised with the ace five. And there's a king. Yeah, and that's given Rani the chance to make the best hand. Oh. <laughs> and he's gone straight on. It's a massive overbet. Slightly over the top. 
and it worked. <laughs> Was that the oh, right thing I to do there? <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's a, it nearly scared me, and I'm not even playing. <laughs> you know... Uh, it was the old sledgehammer and walnut <laughs> proportions. <laughs> the pot was only 12,000, and Ronnie <laughs> O'Sullivan stuck in a bet of over 170. But, uh. Whatever it works. <clears throat> Any trouble is, whenever I do that, uh, somebody's got a hand, <laughs> and uh, you end up looking like a complete mug. Um, <laughs> you know, Greg Raymer, who, who won the World Championship a couple of years ago, he, he was talking about that play. He said it used to be that anybody who made an over bet, a huge bet related, related in relation to the pot size, uh, was considered a sucker play. But now it's a part of the game, and there's a lot of people who are incorporating it, and uh, it's, it's, it's started to become a, like the, the in-fashion thing to do. But that was a dangerous time to overbet in some respects yes, because it uh, was. I mean the kicker wasn't particularly brilliant. Oh, this is the first time John Regis has come out raising from under the gun, King Queen, and he's made it ten thousand straight. And that has made Fiona think twice about her pocket pair. But uh, oh look what this is poor timing from John Regis. Look what he's walked into here. Yeah. <laughs> Poor t you criticise poor timing as well in the end. Yeah. You get what you, you get. What you're asked, you asked for in this game. Not, not, only, uh, not only has he played badly, but also his timing's <laughs> awful as well. You've got to work. You've got to brush up on that. Well, it's this is all in, and um, and yeah, I mean, it's it's just really unfortunate here for John Regis. He's he's finally decided to take this game by the scruff of the neck, and he's walked into a huge hand. I mean, and you're probably called as well. He's going to go all in, surely. He must do. He's very low on chips. <laughs> or is he, has he become he beaten up around the <laughs> ring by God. Ronnie O'Sullivan enough that he doesn't know oh, where he stands him? anymore? Well, mm, hold him up again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Steve, do you think Robbie is considering this? <sighs> he's obviously well in. aware that, oh, well, he's gone all in. He, he says this hand is too big. Got, Not um, to put the pressure back on. 20, and 47, I think. Uh, uh, he, he won't want to see a pocket pair, but as it yeah, turns out, uh, John Regis has a, has a hand that is being dominated by the ace king. Three queens. But two, what, two queens left in the yeah, Ronnie in the pack. Oh, then forty-seven thousand. Three queens is what he thinks he's looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Once they're turned over, it's not a huge raise. Thirty-seven thousand, and uh, it is thirty-seven thousand back on John Regis, which actually <laughs> is enough to put him all in. I think. I hate this game. <laughs> I think Lalani's folded a big pair in the middle oh, of all man. this. Well, we're not too sure, but we think Lalani had a pair of jacks there, which is a pretty big lay down. I'm but like a statue. You can't get no read off me. I'm like <laughs> a statue. But after a raise and a re raise, perhaps the pair of jacks was. That's a good throw down, really. It just kind of is, isn't it? You you got to feel for John Regis here, Steve. I mean, uh, he's finally decided to get aggressive. and uh, <laughs> Bad timing. It's just, it's just gotten him <laughs> stuck in. If he can make a lay down here, it'd be fantastic. Well, if he throws them away, he's got about 40,000 left, something like that. If you tell me what you got. Oh, he's getting a <laughs> bit, of the, bit of the wind-up. <laughs> showing, showing quite a lot of... Oh, mate. Come on, you're making me nervous. <laughs> so I've got to go, well, to match 47, I've got to put 37 in. Looking at those percentages, Regis drawing thin, but not dead. 30. No There's point in calling. Four, six. And I have four left. <laughs> <laughs> that won't get you much. Judging by the body language, if John Regis, Regis could pick up on that, he <laughs> see that Robbie looks pretty relaxed about things. He's obviously not bluffing. He's obviously got a hand. You're so kind. So what hand has he got? Well, of course, Regis would just like both of his cards to be live. If he knew what Robbie Paul had, he'd fold instantly. But is he thinking maybe, maybe Robbie's got a pair of tens, a pair of nines, which would put him in a coin flip situation? Fold. Oh. Well, he's given himself a chance to get out of jail by <laughs> folding. 
Regis lays it down. Robbie Paul takes the pot. And uh, that is the first big pot that Robbie Paul has won. You have to give it to John Regis. Uh, <laughs> he didn't get so frustrated just to stick his chips in there, Steve. He hates this game. He just said he hates it. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it, but he loves playing. He plays a couple of times a week online. He's played in three TV tournaments so far and hasn't done very well in them. He's been playing for a couple of years, John. Obviously one of our greatest <laughs> Olympian athletes. Nicknamed the Tank. And has moved now into sports management, which is a natural progression for many of the top athletes. You have it over is it on me? Yeah. <coughs> States his best poker achievement, John Regis, is not getting oh. knocked out first in a televised event. So I think <laughs> that probably sort of states where he's up to in his <laughs> progression. Um, Ronnie O'Sullivan yeah. looking like he might be raising with that um, um, raise, um. It's 4,000 to call, but Ronnie hasn't done too much of that from the button. Mm -hmm. He likes to have a little, little bit of a test on. Likes to represent things. Ten. Yeah. Ten to play. The biggest raise in the world. Two and a half times <laughs> a big blind. <laughs> oh, a re-raise, and Ronnie will believe. Or is she going to call? It'd be a. So it's an extra six. Sorry, extra eight. Extra eight. Extra yeah. eight. Every time you raise, she pulls. Uh, oh, she's just called. Oh, now this she's is just called. Yeah. She's opening up a trap for Ronnie <laughs> O'Sullivan. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh, can you imagine if the case king comes here, Steve? Oh, here. Ronnie oh, has been slowing oh, down, <laughs> so he may not get himself into too much trouble. But he can't possibly realise what Lalani's holding. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is a this is an amazing play here from Lalani, setting the mm -hmm. trap like this, and she's not gonna love that ace. That is what you don't want to see when two kings. Will Ronnie hole. O'Sullivan represent the ace? And then does he go all in against Lalani? He's, he's not chosen to beat up on her. 4,000. 4, mm, that's a tiddler. It's going to be called. <coughs> no, it's going to be raised. Not nice worried play. about the ace. Not worried about that ace. What's that ace on the. B <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie slings them away. That was a nice play by Leilani. She ignores the ace, it's check raises the <laughs> rocket, and <laughs> takes the pot. Oh, and uh, that is the end of the off. second level. <coughs> Lalani making a claim to her own rights to win this tournament. She was very pleased when she won that one. She quite enjoyed herself out there. Third chip position as well, which is very, very nice. And John Regis really struggling now. Knocked a few hurdles over. Not that, that was his profession, of course. Interesting trends being developed here uh, as we go to the three and 6,000 level. Uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan really bobbing and weaving his way. Yes, he's been very unpredictable. And uh, another aggressive player has been put in his place. Robbie Paul would like to have been making a few moves and just has been stopped in his tracks by this gentleman who looks like he's got a decent hand here and he's thinking about something. Well, Ronnie has to feel like everything's going his way. It's 6,000 to call, but he's having a bit of a look around his left. And uh, the decision is just to limp in. Lalani played a pretty solid game all so far anyway. John Regis has been a little bit cool. weak cool. in calling perhaps too many times with no weak hands. Well, this uh, three and 6,000 level will be really telling for John Regis, won't it? Uh, He's got... Uh, Needs to hit a card. Yeah, Needs to get some chips going. He's down to about 30,000. It's only five big blinds. And uh, this 18,000 now in the pot is actually very significant to John Regis's stack. He has not flopped the best hand. Pair of fives for both Fiona and Ronnie. Check. And Fiona Check. has the kicker to spare. Check. Pet should do it here. Ronnie has put 6,000 in. You think Fiona can work out that she's ahead? I think she's going to work out to fold. I don't know why. Yeah, that's what I know. Six plus six, says Fiona Foster. She's got the best hand now. Can Ronnie take the hint? 
That's excellent poker. I mean, you either fold or raise, really. You don't call, and he's done. She's done the right thing there. Superb play. Completely put me in my place. We are still five here on the PartyPoker.net European Open. So 9,000 in the pot before the players see their cards, and the stakes creeping up there. Leilani. Been raising with these hands and calling, doing both. Call. That's just a flat call from first positions. And, I mean, John Regis is at the point right now where the all-in move might be his only weapon. Yes, now he's down to five times the big blind. <coughs> and the blinds will be coming round to him soon. This is the second time Pass. when Fiona Foster has raised with an ace. And I was saying Leilani had a better ace, but Ronnie O'Sullivan here with the ace Call. king and now just, just calling. calling. Call. Oh, <laughs> well, what, what would an ace do? I tell you, there's one of them left in the deck, and if it comes, it's going to be goodbye to someone, sailor. Fiona Foster, the aggressor. And look at this. It's Everybody nobody. has missed. Gives Ronnie O'Sullivan check, check, check. an inside straight draw. He's in much check. the best position. Can't really know that, though, at all. And must be worried about the jack and the ten. Fiona put the brakes on, check. and now she's got check. a straight draw of her own. Check. Deuce would fit her nicely. They've Turn all, and River both for free. They've, both, they've all slowed up. And the two hits. <laughs> she's got the straight. <laughs> Fiona hits the jackpot. But will she get paid? Will she get any money out of check. this? Check, check, check. Well, she knows she's hit it. That's what that bet means. And how big? 10,000. 10,000. Ronnie doesn't look happy. It's put Ronnie in a very tough spot, hasn't it, Steve? I mean, you, you can almost see him trying calling this. So there's there's not much out there. He might reckon the ace king's high. He's got enough chips to call with. He can oh. take a chance on it in that respect. Pass and declare. Straight. Showdown. Straight. straight, he says. <laughs> How'd you find it? <laughs> and Ronnie, oh stunned. God. Well, the celebrities could take a few tips off this man. He's one of the world's best. Just ask him, Phil Helmet. So you want to be a great poker player? This is what you're going to have to do. You have to play very patiently at the beginning of each level when the blinds are slow. And patience is important because a lot of people that get impatient bust themselves. You're going to have to make sure that you don't make mistakes, especially obvious, silly, or stupid mistakes. You're going to have to pay attention to the players across the table from you and look at them and know whether they're weak or strong. That's what separates the men from the boys. Finally, you're going to have to be able to take advantage of the information. When you see that they're weak, you're going to have to make big bluffs. And when you see that they're strong, you're going to have to fold strong hands. And that is the secret of No Limit Hold'em. Pass. Pass. We raised with this before, John. Call. Call. Back to calling. And now Fiona's got the sevens. Raise. Raise. <laughs> She's a tiger, isn't she? <laughs> Look at John's face. <laughs> 10,000 more, 16 total. Someone stop this woman. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a lovely raise, isn't it, Steve? Beautiful raise. <laughs> would have been interesting He's to know what would have happened if John had raised. <laughs> I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> if John He's had gone all in with his king, queen, an overbet, a massive one. Ravi Paul's got the exact same hand. Why are you so mean for? Why are you so mean for? Why can't you be gentle with me? I'll call. Call. Oh, and finally he's cracked. To some degree, anyway. He must think he's behind. Well, oh. cool. suicidal, cool. these two lads here. Yeah, this pot has gotten very big, and if, uh, <laughs> you have to fancy that no matter what comes, Fiona might just come out betting. If a king or queen doesn't come, uh, she's going to take out yeah. two of them here. This could be a, an enormous change in the seating arrangements. Two sevens in the pack, and they've been helped. Well, I wonder which lovely. one will know. Check. 
I think Ronnie O'Sullivan's chair collapsed. He went from high to low. He went from highest to lowest. One minute he was taller than Lalali, next minute he was below her. It's kind of a dangerous situation for both uh, Robbie Paul and John Regis. I mean, they have to beware of the ace, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, check is free. I'll do that. Okay. Could be checked all the way down. Uh, this is going to help um, the situation from Fiona's point of view. Should a seven come at any stage, they'll probably check it again. Oh, oh she's going to bet. She's taking this as a sign of weakness. Not really. It may not be in her best interest. To 20, I don't think they can lay it. They can't afford to lay it down, can they? Well, they've both. I mean, this 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 twenty thousand bet is basically all of Robbie Paul's and John Regis's chips. They can't afford to lay it. One of them can't afford to lay it down. They, one of them might get rid of it, but not both. I feel. Check raise. Eh? Oh, he's talked himself into check raise. Steve, do you? Fancy Ravi Paul thinks maybe he's up against three aces. <laughs> he's talked himself into one massive hand against him. My spider sense <laughs> and he's talking himself into another one. <laughs> well, you got John as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a very, this is obviously Ravi Paul realizing this is the decision of the tournament for him, and he's decided. Sling it. Yeah. <laughs> Will that talk? John Regis into throwing it away as well. <laughs> That's why I'm out like this. <laughs> I think uh, okay, John may advancing. not be so advanced in the poker oh, okay. world to, to for throw away. this away as well. No, not at all. Okay. I think it's it will help him hand. to some well, degree. I've never saw it. it was face up. So do you want me to show the underlying? <laughs> oh, no, of Ravi Paul's. Oh, no. They said because one of Ravi Paul's cards were exposed, they're going to have to turn them both over. And this could be the worst Just thing for John Regis to see. Okay. He's going to see the hand that folded is one he has. Big pressure on him folding as well. Sometimes a little too much thinking is a, is, is a bad thing. Surely for this much money. But there again, we're watching here at home. We've seen what they've got. They must be talking themselves into Fiona having an ace. She's, she's got to have an ace. She, look, she, she looks, looks like, like she's got an ace. She's got aces like written all over her. Look at it. You can see it on her she face. She looks like a cat that ate the canary. This would hurt. Yeah, I've talked myself into now, talking myself into, talking John into folding this now. It's all changed now that I know that she's got an ace. And possibly two of them. She's holding trips. And he's talked. Three, three. Yeah, here it goes. Oh, mate. He's looking for advice from Robbie, who's thrown away the same hand. Cool. Oh, oh, he's done oh. it. <laughs> well, she's been rumbled. <laughs> she certainly has. I mean, this is great for John Regis has made a big call here, Brave Steve. Brave decision and, uh, and a good call as well. There's only two cards in the deck that can lose this pot for him. They haven't come. And will Fiona stick him in on the river? I don't think she's going to chase him now. Regis has only got about a smattering left. <laughs> well... <laughs> 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 You're just a big bully. <laughs> Actually, she probably would have been better off not betting here because John may have checked as well. Do, do you think she, there's any chance that John Regis could fold here? Oh, I don't think he put any more money in. If she checked, I think he checked. And she saved this money. She would have saved whatever amount it is by just checking. He doesn't he want to call. He can't throw him away now. He's called on the turn. Oh, don't give it all this, please. There's 24,000 that John Regis has left. If you call, if you call the, <laughs> if you call the turn, you've got to call the river after what you've done. You cannot throw him away now. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, Steve Davis. <laughs> oh, I can see the cards. It's easy for me, mate. Okay. I'd rather be where I am, I think. It's a, it's a lovely bluff, but it's just, it's, she's not going to get away with it, is she? There's just no way he could fold here. All that money in the pot, 111,000, and Regis has but to call. He's just got to push him over the line. That's the hardest move. Perhaps if a gun went off, he would just move straight away <laughs> over the line. 
I think every, everybody wants to see Push him Fiona's head. He goes. has called. Close your eyes. Stick it in. And he is going to be a happy camper here. Two sevens. I'm praying you're bluffing. Otherwise I'm stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, marvelous moments. What a hand. And Robbie Paul, who had the same hand, must be twiddling in his seat. But John Regis gets all the money there. And look at the leaderboard. Fiona Foster, she's been uh, shopped here. Yes, uh, and she went for it, and um, all of a sudden, turning to a pretty level game and uh, John Regis up to third. Milani not looking too bad. Robbie Paul now, the, the man trailing in last position. I think John's definitely an honest player and certainly will try and, uh, if he jumps up and down in the air and smiles a lot, oh. he's a very honest player. Cool. Yeah. Now he calls. Pass. That's the first dishonest thing he's done <laughs> for ages. Well, the two queens Pass. are looking very strong right now. Get cool. yourself into trouble to cool. some degree doing this. Should a king come on the flop, he'll be ruining that decision. Ronnie with the no same ways. hand that he just won with the last round. King eight, and here's the flop. A king would be a disaster for John Regis, of course. Hearts and spades on the flop wouldn't hurt. Oh, a queen, something for both people here. Lilani's got a flush draw. <laughs> John Regis <laughs> is massively in front at the moment. With trip queens, Ronnie O'Sullivan will probably be getting out of this as quick as he can. Don't go all check. in now. Check, check, check. 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 Checking. Check. Oh, that's a nightmare. It could be if a heart comes. John Regis is playing the trapper. Oh, it nearly was. Well, the eight gives Ronnie O'Sullivan something. <clears throat> Don't go all in now, Ron. This is not the time to go all in. Trouble is he's got the flavour of the all-in. Well done. Wow, that was an amazing check, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I mean, uh, I mean if form served correctly, Ronnie O'Sullivan was bet. hanging. Oh, no, he, oh, he, he said, said bet. bet. He said bet. I thought he said check. Well, he's, 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 he's really, he really could get himself in trouble here. He's drawing dead. Well, John Regis' dishonesty now should 40, be an all-in afterwards. Lilani throws away the flush draw. 40,000, all-in, John Regis. Well, Regis has got the stone-cold nuts. His hand cannot be beat at this stage. He's giving it a bit of act. He's a bit of an Oscar coming on here. He's not just going to call it, is he? That would be fantastic. Well, Steve, you were, you were saying before how Ronnie can only get himself in trouble by making the all-in move. And as it is, oh. he's got himself in a bit of trouble here. If an eight or king comes, I wouldn't like to be Ronnie O'Sullivan. <coughs> All of a sudden, John Regis has turned into a different player, playing a much more sophisticated game with a few chips in front of him. And now Ronnie could be in big trouble. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. The One diamond. all in too many. <laughs> well, the diamond came on the river. John Regis might be thinking about a fl he, There's no way he's going to fold oh, this, though, come is off there? It. No, come <laughs> off it. We've been sitting in the studio too long. Here. If he throws this away, I'm going home. <laughs> Yeah. No, his nose is open. <laughs> He's not folded, is he? Well, he may take a bit of time over it, because I think he likes to sort of try and work out what the other guy's got, but he can't throw them away. And Ronnie O'Sullivan, I think the longer that John Regis sits there, the more he might start to think his goose is cooked. This is going to slaughter Ronnie O'Sullivan's stack. You know, I like watching John because you just... <laughs> tell you what, you can no, he's not. That. No. No. <laughs> he said, I came Don't. for a friendly poker game, and they're trying to bluff me right and no, left. No, 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 <sighs> Mad Marty Wilson has just put the clock on John Regis. In 20 seconds, his hand will be dead. <coughs> he's talked himself into it. He's Sorry. talked himself out of it. Start the car. <laughs> you can hook a tailpipe up to John Regis. He has been done. Yeah. No, don't show him, Ronnie. Oh, no. Oh, you got to tell me what you got. Three queens. It's yeah, three queens. Three queens. Three in a row. I thought you had a flush. I swear you had a flush. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I've got a massage in 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Steve, how does how does John Regis feel right now? I just don't know what to say. It's do you know what? Well, obviously everybody at home can see what's happened, but obviously now the people in the room know exactly what's happened. I want to go out there. <laughs> <laughs> Stop oh, the blood so flow. <laughs> it's not the green room, it's the cold room. Yeah. <laughs> the ice room. Is that tomato? Yeah, it's a six cold. Well, Ronnie has now raised, I think, Pass. he's played about three or four pots in a row, now takes a breather, and that's a big hand for Leilani here. Raise 6,000 more, 12 total. Double the bet to 12. Right. Cool. And once again, cool. flat cooling. Yeah. Poor John Regis, you, 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 you almost feel if he could Thanks. just stick his chips in, at least <laughs> at least he couldn't be bluffed, you know. At least we'll see one to the, we'll yeah. see him turned over. <laughs> Frustration for Robbie there, just can't get a hand. So we've got a pot brewing here. Fiona folded the King Jack, both cards were alive, but it's Leilani against John Regis. Mm. And, uh, oh well, Regis has got a monster again. Can he sure. talk himself into three diamonds? <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. Can he talk himself into a flush? This, this is this is real curtain stuff for Leilani. 6,000. 6, Just cool. 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 He's called. This is the Another diamond and then throw him away. <laughs> <laughs> if it comes another diamond, uh, Leilani will have a draw at it. Because right now, she is drawing dead. And uh, you have to feel for her here, Steve. I mean, there's no way she can put no. Regis on a better hand. You couldn't possibly. She had the, only, the only notice she's going to get is when John Regis decides to raise. Uh, if he's, it's not a big bet. So John might be getting a bit greedy. Paul. He's called again. He's letting her sink herself. <clears throat> Here's the river card. Pot size 57,000. And there's that third diamond that he hated to see. <laughs> Bit of a check back. Will it be all in here? If it goes all in, can he throw him away? He wouldn't check. do it twice. He'd feel okay. a fall. How much can he get from her? What's the size bet to put in? That's the question. I, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why John Regis didn't raise on the turn. But uh, he's gotten this to oh, the end, and uh, <laughs> Leilani's going to call. <laughs> oh, is she raising? She raising. Oh, raising? oh well, this is a hanging offence. But then, once again, should she know any different? He's, he's, he's she's, panicking. She's going for all his chips. He's panicking. Oh, we raise. It won't we work raised twice. To 24,000, 12 to call. It can't work twice. You can't throw down tri <laughs> trips <laughs> twice. <laughs> Yeah, he's, well, he's, he's, he's telling me. <laughs> oh, cool. Paul? It was a pretty amazing race from Leilani. <laughs> she, she's definitely put the fear in John Regis, but there's no way he's folding three tens. And uh, it's, it's, it's hard to, to, to understand if we're watching sloppy poker here, Steve. Or it's, it's just like nothing I've ever seen before. There's been some interesting oh. matchups of hands, you know. You can't say it's... come back from like... Oh, no, from <laughs> The chips have been flying here, Regis. He's been up, he's been down, he's been bluffed, he's had hands. Where is he going to go from here? Only he knows. Welcome back nice. to the PartyPoker.net European Open. I'm Jesse May, joined by Steve Davis. Cool. Hmm. And Fiona, it looks like she's trying to put Robbie Paul in. <laughs> she's, she's deadly, isn't she? Like it. It's not <laughs> no. the best position to do it from. No, it's, it's not. not. With the queen of the two. This is a bluff that just really can't produce anything decent because there's not a lot of fear when you haven't got that much left. No, and, and, and you no. didn't exactly frighten off Robbie with no, no, if, two, if three. Oh, I thought he put them in for a minute then. He has to almost, doesn't he? I, I think, think he's. So. Can he wait one more hand? No, he's sticking them in. <laughs> Poor Robbie Paul. He has waited, waited, and waited for a hand, and now he's put all his chips in with the worst hand in Hold'em, yeah, a, a two and a three. And uh, it's, what's even worse is that uh, Fiona has one of his deuces, Steve. Uh, this is. <laughs> 
Well, quite. What happened there? Did, uh, <laughs> did Fiona raise and John throw them away there? That's that what exactly happened? what happened. <laughs> and so Fiona Foster here has again taken the best hand out of the pot, and now she is in a spot where she's about a 75% favorite to take Robbie Paul out of this tournament. Well, it wasn't the greatest play to raise because obviously um, with John Regis in the pot, would have helped to knock a player out, but. I suppose you could say that Robbie was more or less on his way out the door anyway. Enough, we're going to fight me. <laughs> Robbie Paul all in, and unless a three hits the board, Fiona's queen looks to win the day. Now there's a bunch of split possibilities out there. A jack would make this a split pot. John Regis would have had three sevens. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> a deuce would the Oh, that's the queen on the end. And uh, that's the end for Robbie yeah, Paul. Easy, and uh, Steve, he just never ball. got the cards he needed to play. Well, here's the breakdown of the chips. There's a few very slim slices of the cake there. And two massive ones as Fiona Foster and Ronnie O'Sullivan rule the roast. Four left in this saloon of aces. And Steve, it's becoming a bit of the haves and have-nots here. Lalani and John Regis, what do they have to do to get back in this tournament? <laughs> well, John just has to be himself, <laughs> and you never know where you are. But uh, next for the chopping block, you would believe, is Lalani with only 15,000, which has gone all in. Been called fold there by John. Well, she found a face card and she moved on it. Uh, well, once again, just a question of it's too late or, oh my. Well, that's a, Time to raise, time to flat call, perhaps to raise to get out the opposition. Yeah, Ronnie O'Sullivan's in the big blind, and I think Fiona Foster will put a stop to that. Interesting what Ronnie's got. Ronnie raise could get himself in trouble if he's got half a decent hand here, thinking it may be good to have two people in to knock out Lilani, but doing the right thing. And the cards will be turned okay, over. Guys, well, there's 40,000 in the pot, Leilani all in. And uh, oh. the story of her tournament, she's up against a monster here. She ran into John Regis's three tens before. Now she has to crack pocket aces to avoid going out in fourth. And uh, it's looking slim. Tricky. A couple cowboys, a couple fives could change. The oh, she's in a <laughs> What about Second that? Second sight for what? Leilani here. And uh, an ace or three. Would, uh, would still be dire for Leilani. There's two cards to come. That's put up a straight draw now for Fiona. A four, a deuce, a three, an ace. Anything else in Leilani nearly triples up. Here's the river. And she survives. King five cracking the bullets. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Well, good luck to her. She made she made a nice strong move there, Steve. She found a face card and uh, yeah. Well, I think probably uh, ride the luck and go all in again. See if you can double up again. Hey, Ronnie, you're five. There's Fiona. Who uh, every time a question's been asked of Fiona, she has responded in full. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, where she goes from here. That that she liked that last time she had it. She called a raise with this hand. Oh, that is the hand she knocked out Mark Williams with, it seems like, <coughs> ages ago. And here comes That's Leilani. Leilani comes over the top, and she's got her dominated there. This could well be a double up. She has oh. not gone all in. She's just raised it to 20, keeping 10. Oh. It's uh, sort of an Irish move, keeping something for the flop. It was Did she not whack it all in? No, no, she's got 10,000 oh, left, sorry. just in case. <laughs> But uh, that may have been what, what, what brought Fiona in. Fair? Yeah, exactly. Oh, this oh, is cruel. God. Oh, my. That's awful. Well, All in. Fiona Foster has just flopped her oh. straight. And Lilani hey, needs a king. Yeah, she needs a king to tie, doesn't she? Oh. Or an ace oh, and a drink. pair to make a full oh, house. It's, it's not looking good. No taxi fare either. A king would split it, anything else. And it is the gong. Ace is up, not high enough. And uh, 
Lilani, she got aggressive at the end there, Steve, but uh, it was too far, and uh, she had too much work to do. Yes, but a very enjoyable tournament, I'm sure, for her. And Fiona Foster playing the executioner yet again. The straight on the flop, Broadway, as they call it, beating two pairs in the end, and uh, making this game three-way. Well, Lani, it was quite a wild game in there, wasn't it? Everyone was sort of swinging for the fences. I know, well, halfway through, I sort of started playing a little bit more cautiously than I would normally do. I was looking at Robbie and John's chips and thinking, maybe if I just stay in a little bit longer, play it a bit safer, um, I could wait for them to get out before I, before I started risking anything. But I played it a bit too cautiously, I think. Well, you've been in there at the table. Who do you fancy right now? Who's going to take this one? I think Fiona. I have to say, I think she's the most intimidating out of everybody. And she was like beforehand, she was saying, no, no, I've not played for years. But, but yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. The blinds now at seven and fifteen thousand, which uh, is pretty big stakes here. Well, considering yeah. and with the Take ace, uh, should, should John we just be raising here, Steve? Well, what John should be thinking about is there's only six cards yeah, being dealt out. The chances are that the ace is well ahead on its own. Forget about the kicker given Fiona a chance to improve. Too sure that's helped anybody. The four there. A pair. <laughs> Rajan checking back. He does have. Would have liked to have raised now. A sigh and a bet. Check. A check, a sigh and a check. And then a bet and then a throw away. <laughs> OK, you. fair enough. <laughs> Fiona Foster, is. Uh, she pounces on weakness like a a wild cat. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if she can get John Regis off this hand. His ace looked good before the flop, but... Uh, 25,000. <laughs> that's a massive bet. <laughs> Holy Toledo. Well, in the past, John's called with bottom pair. Cool. And he calls again. And all of a sudden, now the brakes will have to be put on by Fiona. Yeah, I mean, now it's a fantastic call. Although if a six or eight comes... <laughs> It must be scary, though, for John. <laughs> but perhaps scary for yeah. Fiona as well. I mean, there's 80,000 in there. All in. She's all stuck in. them all in! I mean, there's, that's brave. But it could work. Call. He's called! He's called. Call. Oh. John Regis has set his foot down, and he is... Well, he's going to be rewarded here, Steve. Well, he didn't think twice about that earlier in the in the tournament. He's been I'm in an R in over nothing. He's called all in with bottom pair with a queen, a king, and a jack on the flop. <laughs> and the bottom pair is good. I, it, 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 How did he call? It after seems throwing suicidal. away three queens. <laughs> Enough is enough, says John Regis. And unless a six or eight comes, he is going to be doubled through in a very strong position. Fiona's drawn live to, to six cards here. She did not hit. And uh, what an amazing gaming poker is. <laughs> I mean, so, Steve, it was, it was either suicidal or the most amazing call that's been made today. Unpredictable is John Regis, certainly. Fiona, one bluff too many, possibly. Ronnie seems like he's in a spot where he's, he's, he's winning this tournament his way, and uh, Pass. he's doing a very good job of it. Well, he's the only one raising on the button. And he'll raise Tunnel. now. <laughs> he's raising all the time. It's the oh, right yeah, thing yeah. to do. <laughs> he's become a machine. <laughs> the, the terminology has slowed nice. him down a little bit, but he knows yes, what he wants to do. <laughs> he wants to bully. That's what he's Are doing. Put in. All right, I'll put 10 in. Yeah, if you put that in. Yeah. Right, now tell me how much you want to raise. Another 20,000. 20,000 yeah. more? 35 total. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> easy, it? <laughs> and John oh Regis. Oh, my. John Regis laughed his head off and saw his cards and went all serious. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Cool. Oh, yeah. a little cool. 
Well, th- this, is so given, this has given Arani a chance to make a, to not catch so, up and pass him. Not so good with uh, Ace King. Better with a pair of something. The flat call. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a tough hand to be trapping with, isn't it? Yeah. What Ace if the King. seven or nine comes? Well, that's better. Uh oh. Oh oh. Now what? Now what for Ronnie Ball O'Sullivan? In. Oh dear. Oh dear. John Regis. <sighs> now is your time. Now is the time. Well, it's not really that tough a call, is it, Steve? No, but it's nice. The drama of it's good, isn't it? <laughs> Don't, whatever you do, throw these away. Otherwise, I will get the taxi home. This is this is about the fourth time John Regis has been put to all his chips. Cool. <laughs> he's, I mean, no, 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 no. he's been battered bloody. But this is a this is a huge pot. And John Regis is, is looking to take the chip lead here, Steve. <laughs> well, it was one all in too many for Ronnie O'Sullivan. He really had to be wary of that ace, especially after John had called the raise. Ronnie O'Sullivan will have about 140,000 left. Seven. But this pot is the important one. And as he says, a seven or nine would let him warm out of the hole. Must in it if Seven or nine. You got your loaded, mate. It's all about you can have. This can be painful. Well, that's a huge card for John Regis. It means the nine will do nothing for Ronnie O'Sullivan's hand. Two sevens in the deck to get him out, and that's it. John Regis is about to become the ship leader. Who would have thought it, Steve? At one point in this seat, John Regis had 32,000 in chips and was on the verge of folding his way to defeat. But now here he is with half of the stacks, and uh, geez, it's, hard, it's hard to say what's gonna happen next. You know those three queens he threw away? You know, I think that was probably the right thing to do, because he didn't have to take the chance. I think he's probably the best player around the table here, and all of a sudden, <laughs> that pie chart's looking very, very nice. <laughs> it sure is. The real story right now is Ronnie, who is dripping away. He's, he's struggling there, he's frustrated all of a sudden. The winner of this heat goes through to the main event as the celebrity qualifier. <laughs> so perhaps it is time to make a move with the ace eight, a raise. Oh, cool. Ooh. Oh, that's raise. That is not something we've come to expect from Fiona Foster, is it? <coughs> and Ronnie is eyeing. Oh. Like he was getting some ideas there. He's having a think. Too sure what he's thinking. <laughs> what are you going to do, big stack? There's a chat up line. <laughs> wow, he's raising. Uh, no, continue. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the closest John Regis has gotten to making a big bluff, but I, I don't think it would have gotten through that time. Do you think Fiona was very happy with the ace? I think it has has John bluffed at all. I don't know if my memory serves me correctly. He's not really bluffed at all, is he? I don't think he has. But he certainly called some big ones. There's a semi bluff check. coming up. Check. No, semi check bluff. All in. All in. All in. Jeez, that's strong. Massive bet. And the right thing to do. Unless it was a trap, but John doesn't trap. You started bullying me. I, th I, th I think that Fiona's heart must have been in her mouth there. She was on a limb. She had the best hand, but... Uh, well, she should have raised pre-flop. It's getting very edgy. And uh, Fiona Foster, 186,000. She's not far from par. But uh, the real story right now is Ronnie, who is dripping away. He's, He's struggling there. He's frustrated all of a sudden. And... Uh, I have to wonder what he'll do if he picks up a middling hand on the button. He'd been so successful earlier with those button raises. Tru <coughs> trouble is now, if he raises, uh, he hasn't got much left to scare anybody away with. It has to be all <coughs> in, doesn't it? Total 50,000. <sighs> That's a big one with a nine and a four, especially if he hits somebody with something else. Well, you can't accuse him of lacking courage. He's got, he's got some bottle. Oh, oh God. Well, well, <laughs> well, 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 well. Well, it's. Is he going to call? 
let Fiona hang herself as well. What do you do? Do you, do you freeze out the other person here, Jesse? Is that the done oh. thing, or do you you think you take a chance on having two against you with aces? I mean, I I, I think well. the stakes are so big that you just you just have to just get Come the money on. in. I mean, uh, actually, makes, Ronnie is now getting a chance for a free <laughs> flop here. He just where called <laughs> disasters. He, he's, he's, he's actually told John what he's got. But <laughs> he certainly has. Disastrous. <laughs> is it disastrous? Oh, it is so disastrous. I think John. flopping a pair might have been worse for John, for Ronnie here. I mean, uh, at least he can get away from it now, can he? Two hearts, but John's not going to let him see one. Small teaser bet. Don't Ronnie go all in. Ronnie he's of the mind that a nine or a four he's lost would the get patience. him. He's yeah. lost the control, and he's going to pay the penalty, I think. He's just decided that this pot is too big to leave behind. Now where does he go? John Regis. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we're seeing all the cards. And the, the terrible thing here, Steve, is that Ronnie actually he, he took our advice he's and then he's, he's about lost. to do it all. <laughs> the plot has been lost. Oh, it's all over. It's all finished. And he knows it as well. There's 200,000 in there, and Ronnie O'Sullivan right, cannot yeah. win. Love it. He cannot win. John. Oh, sorry. Nine. He's got a jack nine eight seven four. It's not the greatest hand in the world. It's a nice hand if you're playing low ball, but that's twenty one. Twenty two. Oh. Don't put it in. Whatever you do, don't call. Yeah. He's calling. Oh, no. oh, you can't call with that. It's a capitulation from Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> 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 oh dear. The slight drop of standard oh, at the end there for Ronnie. Just, just the massage me. was calling. <laughs> it's just it was close. Uh, he's, I mean, he's played such a brilliant game, Stephen. You even have to like oh, my his, oh, <laughs> his raise at the end, oh, but. Uh, well done. He may never play poker again after that. <laughs> oh, <amazing. laughs> Out in third, Ronnie O'Sullivan, wow, and uh, the <laughs> rocket has what finally <laughs> been stopped up short. The last hand, Ronnie said the pot is too big to let go. Regis, overkill with the aces, beating the jack high and putting this match head up. Ronnie, it looked like you you decided to get aggressive at the end there, and uh, John just woke up with something huge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he needed anything huge. Nine four, I didn't have no pair on the board. I was just, uh, Kentucky was calling, you know? <laughs> but uh, early on, you were well in control of that table. I was having a go, you know, and I, I learnt a lot off of Fiona because she was stealing a lot of the hands, and I thought, because him and Chip's dwindling away, and I thought, I've got to try and do something here, so I picked a little bit of a tactic off of her, and, you know, I felt standing it, but to be honest with you, when you're getting eight fours, seven twos, nine fours, jack seven, queen for it, I was just, I was getting frustrated, and I, and I just couldn't be bothered. Who would have thought it would come down to this when we started? But John Regis, Fiona Foster, they're locked in battle, and only one goes for. Two left, and the tank is stacked. And Steve Davis, is it destiny? Is it John Regis's day? Yes, of course it is. He knows it. We know it. Everybody knows it. God knows it. Uh, it's his, his day for moving through to the next round. And Fiona just may as well go home now because there's no way that anybody can beat the great John Regis at cards. He's a poker legend in the making. My name is John Regis, former UK international athlete extraordinaire. Once I get to the Heads up, it's all out, guns blazing attack. That's the type of man I am. Ready to play. Good luck. John Regis has come from the cloth to out Duke Fiona Foster here, three to one. But uh, there is still some play in it, or is it? If the blinds do go up uh, in a while, it's going to become a bit tricky for Fiona. She hasn't got a great deal of chips to play with, 136,000. It's, um, cool. it's getting a bit tight. Option. She's flat calling, John Regis reaching for more. Wow. He's getting busy. And, and Fiona has the best hand here. It's 20,000 more. This could be very expensive. Oh, oh that's marvelous. It, it, it wasn't necessarily the right thing to do after a raise, but it's as we know, it's superb. I mean, you talk about drawing a line in the sand. Uh, <coughs> 
Fiona may have reckoned she could go no further. And uh, if John Regis Jennifer calls here, he's, uh, can... can... he's going to be in trouble. Although there's, there's more split pots than uh, anything else if these two hands match up. There's a big possibility of a split pot. Should there be four cards above a five? Folded. He has folded, and uh, this could be a turning point for Fiona Foster. She has won a pot that was not necessarily hers, taken about 40000 off of John Regis there, and uh, pulled from a 3-1 to one chip disadvantage into something closer to 5-2. to two. Yes, and it's the first uh, pot she's won for a while, I think. The problem is we have... And she's gone back into the interview mode. <laughs> the problem is talent. And he's got, she's got him now. I think so. Mind <laughs> Mine's completely <laughs> on talent. <laughs> well done. Oh, he's folding out a turn as well. Oh. John, you well, folded out a turn then. Oh, shit. So you automatically get Technical Sorry. term. Yeah. Just no, thrown away 30,000 oh, pounds, and Fiona yeah, was, I think, going to fold. Sorry. Yeah, it's been unfortunate. I, I, think, I think John Regis has been looking at his cards, and no, not your he, he, he thought it was his small blind. Totally missed them. And to uh, make it matters worse, he apologized as well, <laughs> which is more of a sort of procedural apology. <laughs> yeah, no, see, I'm like, oh, no. I'm Fiona says, uh, don't worry, you can do that as much as you want, but that was another 30,000. Uh, Will that spring him into action? Pass. No. Well, all of a sudden now, the chip okay, count's right. going ridiculously level. I mean, they are bang level now as we speak. How quickly this game changes. That is just ridiculous. Well, I mean, the incredible thing is that Fiona has managed to do it without ever having to have the cards on their backs all in. So uh, it's, 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 it's almost like classic head-up hold'em, isn't it? Mm, okay. Just... Just amazing. Uh, if you're not aggressive at this game, a, this is a, a lesson really to, not obviously not to the professional poker players or anybody who's played a great deal of poker, they will understand. But if you're going to play this game, the less players in the game, the more aggressive you must get. And uh, King High, that may be enough. Although Surely she should be spurred on by what's been going on recently. Pass. Oh. What did she see? John Regis said he wanted a call there. But you know, but it's almost like as soon as Fiona got the chip lead, <laughs> yes. it, 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 it's it's enough. Breaks on. <laughs> well, it's it's understandable, isn't it? You know, it's 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 a real psychological thing, isn't it? Uh, you're so right. I mean, now all of a sudden you've got something worth losing. <laughs> and uh, these two realizing they are in a slog fest now. It's gloves off. There's no cards out there. It, it, it almost seems like the face cards have been stripped from this deck, although there's an ace. What's the raise to 60? Is it going to be a raise? To oh, 15 to call. He's just oh. called. Oh, no! All and all Fiona's in. picked up a bigger ace, and uh, John may just get his hump up. Well, he's capable of throwing it away. Oh. And he's called. Cool. He's called. You can yeah, understand. Well, he's been waiting for an ace for so long, Steve. This is this is nearly unfortunate. But now Fiona Foster is well. She, she's in a position to win this. There is the outside possibility of a split oh, pot. No, you oh. didn't. He's just realised. <sighs> oh, ace and two gets ace and nine. John was waiting for the ace. Has it come too late? Now he needs a deuce. I think I'm bleeding. I think it's Fiona Foster all in here, but the, the, this pot's so big, it's it's nearly immaterial, Steve. Right now, the nine plays. Like you say, there's... No there's chance now of a split pot, I don't think. A couple pairs on the board. Oh, yes. But uh, the running diamonds would be all right for John Regis. A deuce would suit him nicely. If Fiona hits a nine here, it'll be over. I'm in big trouble. And, uh, it's only the two now. Um, a seven or an eight would be a split pot, as a matter of fact. Um, that would make the king and the jack play. But that's it. Ace, king, jack, nine. Not much purple there for John Regis. 
Ooh. It's very healthy for Fiona. A huge chip switch. And uh, that ace nine. Just a. Like oh boy. Raise. All in. This is looking clinical. I'd like to, she said. I'd like to raise. It's hard. It's hard to imagine. It's hard, it's hard to imagine John Regis folding here, and uh, that looks as good as anything. Yeah. Folding. Yep. Cool. He's going with it. This pot will be about a hundred thousand, and uh, if John Regis can catch a nine or ten on the board total. here, he'll uh, he won't be in terrible shape. Fiona Foster was down to about a hundred thousand earlier in this head up. What a switch we've had. At one stage it looked like John Regis had butt to, as yeah. you say fall over the line, but you just just doesn't happen in poker. Well he didn't get that aggressive in the middle part of the heads up and he's paid the price for it. And now he's relying on those five cards that are gonna remote remain in the middle. Yeah, John all in, and he's not in terrible shape. 40% chance here. But uh, the 9 or 10 will need to spike. Or this one's over. Fiona Foster an inch away from victory here. And, uh, oh, that was huge. Now the 9 of hearts, one of John Regis' 9s, will give Fiona a flush. He needs to catch one of three 10s or two 9s in the deck. you got to be kidding me. Over like a train, yeah. That's that's given John a straight draw. Queen now. Queen apart from the heart. There's a few cards for John Regis. All the rest are Fiona oh, Foster's flush. and the flush, the flush on the river. Done She's done it. <laughs> She's done what she had to do at every stage of this this heat, Steve. Enjoyed it. That last hand, Fiona with the ace and the flush draw made her even stronger. Regis needed to pair, but the heart on the river, and this lady has heart flushed her way into the main draw. John, what a what a roller coaster you were on tonight. Yeah. Slowest in chips, chip <laughs> leader, you were everywhere. I mean, initially the cards just weren't being nice to me at all, so I was thrown in, and, and at one stage I thought, well, it's not gonna happen, and all of a sudden, it was like I just got second wind and I started to realize what I was doing and then old bully next to me <laughs> started putting the boot in and uh, I mean I just folded. I mean interviewing tactics. I remember that for next time. <laughs> well, it was tremendous how, how you, you swung it around in that head to head sort of psychological battle by asking him about his family life, <laughs> about his friends, getting him to reveal stories about some of the runners in his life in the Olympics. And all of a sudden he just totally took his mind off the subject, which was actually poker. And he started throwing in aces and kings. What he threw in that you don't know, it's just amazing tactic. Did you do that deliberately? I was genuinely interested of in course John's not. life. So I was asking, it was nothing, it was not a tactic in any way, I promise. Well, that's poker. All's fair at the table. Fiona Foster is going to be going forward into the main draw. She'll be back next week along with some internet qualifiers and professionals here on the PartyPoker.net European Open.